What's popping? What's popping? Now, how do you get over creator's block? You know, and it's simple. You get out the house and you start living. You know, you start living. You know, yes, you know, the uh, men, you should work. You should work seven days, sometimes six days a week. And if you can't work seven, you work six days a week. And sometimes, you know what you got to do? You got to get on that mega bus. You got to get on that mega bus and pick a city you want to go to. And you go. And you know how cheap this mega bus is? Sometimes it's five dollars and as high as twenty nine ninety nine. A round trip probably gonna cost you eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. And you wanna know how I know? Because throughout my whole twenties, shit, even when I what hit like thirty, thirty one, that probably was the last time I took it. I was on a mega bus. <laughs> I tried the Greyhound. That shit just wasn't for me. You know, it was just too much uh, layovers and just, it was just too much layovers and I didn't have time for that shit. But, you know, if you don't have another choice, if the mega bus isn't going to your city, I think it goes to most cities, you know, but uh, most major cities and some uh, non-major cities. But if it doesn't, hey, catch the Greyhound. But if you can uh, afford a plane, get that. You know, but I, I just know that the plane tickets are kind of high and some people, you know, you don't have that money right now, which is cool. It's always an answer. It's always a solution. And the solution is the mega bus. You know, you haven't created this block. You know what you got to do? You got to get out in the world and live. That's why you have created this block, because you, you have a routine. Your life is too routine. You don't want. You don't want your life to always be routine. Yes, you have to work to get what you want to get. You have to work to get the life you want to get. But you also want to have moments where, by choice, you change the routine up. You you get a mega bus, like I say, a round trip probably will cost you $79, $80. Today, that shit is like <laughs> $80 ain't shit. You know, compared to what it used to be. So you'll spend eighty dollars just bullshitting. So let's say you leave in let's say you leave in Georgia and you wanna go to um fucking Florida or something. Cool. That's gonna be a round trip. Highest like I say, highest is eighty dollars. You go to Florida, you plan out things you wanna go see. You plan out things you uh you wanna do. And I don't say go there and you and you fucking go to the club and you go party and nah. You go you go do stuff that interests you. And why while along with those trips, and guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna start meeting people. You're gonna start meeting people with the same uh hobbies that you have, and the conversation's gonna start. Guess what? You go get there, you go catch an Uber or a Lyft. You know, and guess what? You go have a conversation with the driver, and guess what? Ideas. What you got to do is keep your pen, a piece of paper, or you keep your phone with your notes open. And, yeah, you're going to be scared to travel. You're going to be scared to, um, you're going to think about, oh, shit, man, what can happen? Look, man, nothing going to (laughs) happen. Nine times out of ten, nothing's going to happen. You just make sure you're good. You know, make sure you be, um, the places you go to, you read the reviews, and you and you just make sure it's a good place to use your car at. You know, other than that, you do things that you like to do. And you're gonna run into you're gonna run into different people, you know. And you still could be an introvert while doing this. Like I said, you get your hotel while you there, you don't invite no girls to come over to your shit because like I say, that's how shit happens. You there to create. And along the way, you know, I don't know if you guys are muckle or not, but the guys that are not along the way, if you do run into certain chicks like that that's vibing with you, shit happens. You know, that's ideas. Ideas gonna come while you living. <laughs> it's not gonna come when you frustrated and it it comes when you living, when you working, when you working every day. And like I say, man, get on that mega bus. Catch that mega bus. Go somewhere. Go to places that that interest you. Ain't nothing stopping you but you. I don't care if you're 19, 24, 25, 32. Man, you could save up $80 and some extra money to get uh, get the things, you know, get you a nice hotel, you know, and you just and you just live life. Like I say, ideas going to come to you. 
you write songs, songs gonna come to you while you living. While you in the Uber, <laughs> the Uber driver gonna say something and it's gonna trigger you. You know, you a writer. You go see, let's see, let's say you see homeless people. Let's say you see people kissing out in the streets. Let's see you see uh, a couple arguing. Let's say you see, like, stuff just happens and all those ideas is gonna come. It's ironic because it's gonna be too. It's gonna be too many ideas coming, and you, <laughs> and you go get mad that you can't just remember everything or jot everything. But that's how you get the ideas to come to you. You know, if you're a painter and uh, your life is routine, like I say, get on that mega bus, man, and you go to places. Like even if you have a a, a passport, get on that plane and go. Like I say, I be getting my passport this fall. And guess what I be doing? Man, I be going to France. I be going to uh, Italy. Man, come on, man. <laughs> South Africa. Like, that's how you get your ideas just going. Yeah, like I said, you're going to be fe fearful at first if you're not used to it. If you're not used to it, yeah, you're going to have a little fear. In you. But that's where your greatest creations come from. Your greatest creations comes from that fear. Because once you overcome that fear... That's when, like I say on one of the last videos, that's when you unlock a new version of yourself. Damn. That's when you unlock a new version of yourself. When you leave, when you when you just get out. And let's say you don't have the time to go places. You don't have the time to get on a plane or a mega bus. It's another solution. You get you a bike and you ride around, you ride around your city. You ride around the downtown area in the daytime because you think you know the area around you because you, you've you been living there so long. You think you know everything about the city you're in, the town you're in, the state you're in, but you don't know. It's still spots you have to explore, you can explore. So you start by doing that. You start by exploring the things around you that you haven't explored yet because let me tell you, man, whatever you do, even the smallest things, like some people... You might have to become a bartender, you know. You might have to become an Uber driver, a Lyft driver, just to get ideas. People come talk to you about your about their problems. Bam, ideas everywhere, you know. That's how you get out of creator's block. You have to live life. That's why. That's why a lot of the rappers who come in the game and like, for example, a King Von, you know. That's why when they come in the game. And this, you know, on the other hand, they they rap is really felt because they lived that life that they was rapping about. You know, whether it was wrong or whether it was right, they lived that life. So that's why people can feel it. People like Lil Boosie, you know, they can feel it because they actually lived their life. So let's switch it. Whatever kind of art you do, when you bring that art to the people, They'll be able to feel it because you lived that life. You you explored. You did things. You saw people arguing. You saw people kissing. You listened to people um, stories. All that shit matters. You know that's how you get out of creator's block. You live life. So let's get it.